Hello folks, Phoenix here with a tutorial on how to play VTS on Lucky. First you need to of course download the software, uh, choose the link for the right operating system. Then you can unzip and open the application. It may not work at first. On Mac for example the application is not authorized and if you try to authorize it in your system like that you'll get an ugly page with a missing fonts error. So to go around that, you need to open the terminal application here and write this command. This will authorize the application. Choose the right folder for you, of course, and then hit enter. This will authorize the application and let you run it properly. On Windows, it's a bit easier because you just need admin privileges. You can right click the application when launching it to get admin privileges so it can run smoothly. You should get something like that. Then you need to go into the plugin tab and copy paste this URL here that you have in the video description. Hit the install button and there you should have a log. It takes 15 to 20 minutes. At the end it's completed with a few errors. You can just click the button browsed install plugin, choose VTS and hit the choose button. Here you are, ready to go and play. So now there's a few things you may want to set up. Uh, first of course go to preferences and change maybe your, your, your profile name. Uh, maybe choose a name you, you also use on Discord and other services uh, for ease of use. Uh, you can choose a color for your thing, you can choose an, an image for your avatar. See, uh, images are in the images avatar folder in the lucky folder so there are already a bunch of them there but you can really add your own so for example i always use this phoenix square uh, avatar here that i crafted um, you need to make sure that the image is 100 by 100 pixels or it won't work at all but once you have that you can just take the image put it there and then hit the browse images find it and select it. Uh, make sure you don't touch these filters on top because it will mess everything up and you won't be able to choose your image anymore. Once that's done you can click the save button and go to appearance for example. You can fix a few things there for example choosing a proper play mat. Um, begin with this grey thing but you can change to VTS green marble or to this nice uh, felt background, very luxury one. I, I'll go for the VTS marble first. And that's how it looks, with marble, avatar, color, everything's ready to play. Another thing is the key bindings. So you may be lucky if you have a US QWERTY keyboard like that, because everything is more or less good. But if not, you need to change all of that to uh, shortcuts that work for you and your mapping and your keyboard. So just click in there, choose any kind of shortcut that you're comfortable with for any kind of command you may want to run easily. I have uh, I like to have shortcuts for every kind of contours. Uh, green, life, orange, so I can really add contours easily. Uh, to any card, plus I like to have a shortcut to take control of a card uh, because uh, when you have a you know a coven or something running around the table, it's a, it's easier to to use. But yeah, do do it like like you like you want it. Uh, what's more more comfortable for you? Then you may want to go to sound. Uh, there are a lot of sounds in Lucky, and they're a bit of nauseous. I disable text to speech, for example. I also disable the welcome message. And uh, specifically, the zones reveal and council sounds were very horrible. Uh, keep the uh, die roll and, uh, and the coin flip sounds because people use that to attract your attention on tables. Uh, I disable the card names, which you can keep it. I mean, do whatever you want. Again, it's, it should be configured to whatever you prefer. Nothing else needs to be changed here. Everything's set up already. If you need to update the plugin, do that from time to time. Just click here, you should have the URL already ready and click the install button and you can update. Also think about downloading all the card images because it will speed up the software when playing a game uh, immensely. So in order to play you need a deck of course. Uh, there's a deck editor in Lucky but it, uh, it's all a bit ugly. 
we don't usually use that. Most of the players use uh, online deck builders like VDB here or Amaranth here. They're equivalent. Let you do the basic things you want to do to build a deck. So you have all your cards, you can go to the crypt cards, search them, find any kind of clan, any kind of discipline. Same thing in the library card, you can filter by clan. Uh, it will show you the cards if the clan has any. Uh, you can filter by discipline, anything really. And then you can choose the cards, add them to your deck and build it. So in the end, you want to export it and get a proper lucky format. So both uh, deck builder software here uh, that are uh, in the video description again, provide you with this kind of files that you can use in Naki. So if you open it, you'll see it's a very uh, simple text file with your library and crypt cards. What you need to do is to copy the library first, then you go to Lucky in your deck editor thing, uh, click a new deck, and then you can click the paste button on top to paste the library here. And then you can go to the crypt. So you need to keep them separated because Lucky doesn't know the difference between crypt and library unless you separate it. So you need that to copy your crypt independently and then go back to Lucky and hit again the paste button to paste your crypt here. Then you can click the load entire deck to you so it's loaded into the game and you're ready to play with your deck. So there are faster ways to go uh, if you want. If you, are, uh, if you don't like to copy paste all the time, you can go into plugins, VTS uh, folder inside Lucky, and there's a decks folder here. There are already all the pre uh decks that are uh, already packaged into the plugin, plus any deck that you have saved. But you can add your own text file here, your own deck, like this, and that will make it available to Lucky very easily. So once you've done that, you can go back to Lucky and the deck editor, of course, and you just hit the Browse button. If you have all the precoms, by the way, you can remove them if you don't need them. And choose your deck. Don't hit the filters again. It will mess everything up and you won't choose the right deck. And then click the Load Entire Deck to You button. Tips on how to play. Once you have your deck, um, first click these corners here. Um, there are three zones that you can reveal and they will really help you to, to play the game uh, more easily. You can click the draw crypt to draw your crypt cards, draw library to draw your library cards. It's pretty straightforward, right? When you hover over a card, you see, of course, a full text and image here on the left. About the crypt card, you need to shift while hovering to see behind them. That works only on your cards, of course, uh, but that's how you can check what's in your crypt. You can select the cards and drag and drop them anywhere. You're really free to do whatever you want with the cards that are on the playground. And then you can right click the card to access the context menu if you want, for example, to put some blood on it. And you see it puts a little number here in the, um, in the token to tell you the number of blood. I don't like that very much. So what I do is I go to preferences and the appearance tab and I change that to images only. When you do that, that means that you get as many tokens as they are, not numbers inside of them. It's a big bit big so you can reduce the size. I, I like 20% uh, but really do it like, like you like it. If you like the numbers keep the numbers you know. Uh, but then you can add the tokens on the card. Don't forget to reduce your pool accordingly. Um, there you go. You can do that a bit more uh, <laughs> so that we hit full capacity here. So let's do that full time using shortcuts. Um, reduce our pool again. If you want to flip the card you control and click then you can drag and drop, bring it into play. That's how you play a vampire, basically. Double click to lock and unlock, drag and drop card to play it so that everybody can see it. Click the draw library button to refill your hand. Don't forget to right click the card to bring up the contest menu, to burn the blood, for example, to pay for the card. And once you're finished, you want to discard it, obviously. So drag and drop it to the ash, ash heap tab here. 
And you can see your ashes by clicking on it. But then you lose your hand, which is not very convenient. That's why I like to use the right side and there I put my airship. So you can, I can drag and drop directly there. I can check the other player's airships. Uh, it's very practical to use this right zone here for that. If you want to perform normal actions without cards like bleed or hunt, you have buttons there on top of the log and you can announce to the whole table uh, without even speaking or having to write anything what you intend to do. There are a number of buttons that are uh, used throughout the game. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that later. So now you may want to go online to play with your friends, which is basically what we're here for. Click the server tab and click the connect to the game matching server button. You will arrive in this space. You can uh, use the VTS tabs to see only the VTS games and players, uh, if that makes more sense to you. And then you can choose a game and connect to it. Uh, if it's red, beware, that means your plugin may not be up to date and you need to update your plugin. Here you are on a table with players. The first thing that we expect people to do uh, after they load the deck is to uh, roll, a de roll a die, uh, 20 faces die, to know where they're sitting. So the lower is the first seat uh, and then higher and higher until fifth seat. You have to vacate seat by right clicking here and sit back by clicking on the button on the right position so that everybody can play it around. What we do after that is we use tokens uh, here on the right, uh, our seating tokens, to indicate uh, where should each player sit because the playground is not uh, oriented the same way for everybody uh, around the table. So there's no way to indicate who is, uh, you know, you go top, you go down. You have to need, you need marks on the playground. So that's what we use. Uh, we usually get the edge out where we're at it. Of course you need a deck, uh, we, we saw that already. Go to the deck editor, load the entire deck to you. It's shuffled already, normally you don't have anything to do. And then take the cards of your crypt and put the at the seat. So I'm second seat here, I'm gonna sit here on the second marker. And I can remove it afterwards. Just drag and drop it to the remove zone. And that's it, my vampires are ready. I'm basically uh, ready to play. I can right click to draw seven cards at once. It's a bit faster than hitting uh, the draw button seven times. You have to make sure that your eye shape is visible to everybody, including you. Uh, same thing with your hand. And um, that's it, we're ready to play. Finally, there are some tricks on customizing Likey uh, to better usage or sim simpler usage. You, you can already use shortcuts uh, to add the blood, but not to remove the pool, for example. That takes you a bit of time when you do transfers, when you're being bled and that kind of stuff. Um, discarding is easy when you use the right zone here. Um, for drawing, you could use a shortcut to be faster, but still there is this pool thing and you can click it this thing to, to pass the turn. Uh, luckily for us, Lucky has a comment that you can use in the log, beginning with a slash character. Um, the link to them is in the description of the video too. You can check them and see if there's anything you like. Like for example, this uh, slash minus uh, any number really, like minus one, removes one pool from you. You can use this comment and you can right click any button here on top to link the comment to the button. So then afterwards you can use the button to execute the comment for example, you do transfers, hit the button three times, and that may be easier than clicking your, clicking your pool, you know. Uh, so that's a nice trick to know. Uh, there are many comments, you can do more complicated things, change the comments with uh, that way. So for example, C3 is the first command of the card, gain blood. So I can do a single command that remove a pool and add the blood to a card I selected, map it to the button, and then if I want to select a card and do a transfer, I just click it the number of times I, I, I need. Anything rolls really here. Do what is more comfortable for you. Uh, so the way you can uh, gain time, play faster, smoother. Uh, you can configure everything in the chats and macro uh, thing here. And you can use shortcuts in the key bindings tab too. You can use any kind of sounds that are, these are in the sounds folder of the VTS plugin, in the Lucky folder. Uh, you can check them, there's a number of sounds you can use in, in this kind of uh, count comments. Configure it the way you like, then save them to use them in your games. 
That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like the video, and of course, see you later for more Vampires Yet Eternal Struggle stories.